Hello everybody, it's Marge from Fashion Index and we are live today with um, the House of Chickadee uh, all the way from France. Um, so we're going to be meeting with um, Dee Dee from the House of Chickadee. I am bringing Tiersa in right now and I can't wait for you to meet Dee Dee, she's amazing. All Hi right. everybody. I have Tiersa hey. in. Here we I'm go. I'm Tiersa, this is Marge, and we are Fashion Index. Um, so if you want to find us, it's fashionindex.com. We are a B2B and B2C for people and businesses trying to, trying to connect and find each other. Is she in? No, not yet. Hold on. Here she comes. Oh, yay. Hey. Do we have her? Let me make sure if she's on. She's trying to. Hi, Dee Dee. Okay. <laughs> okay. There she is. All right. Two seconds. Two seconds. <laughs> ah, what is it? Get it around. Get it around. Okay. That's it. Yay! Hello. It's good to see you. You too. Oh Yay. my God. How so, are you? It's it's so early for you. It's the evening here. My day is done. <laughs> fresh as daisies, just getting up. <laughs> I'm like, oh. <laughs> so funny. Oh my God. Oh my God. Um, Tears. You want to start everything out? Give everyone a little bit of a background on Dee Dee and. Um, Sure. Let me just say again for the people who are just joining. Hi, Kate. Uh, we are Fashion Index. Uh, Fashion Index is a B2B and B2C uh, to connect people so that you can find find each other in the fashion industry. Um, you can you can you can join as a member. We send lots of really great information and emails. Uh, we have lots of great contacts. And speaking of contacts, one of them is TD. Um, and she is here from France, the, so it's so nice to be able to see her live and talk to her. Yeah, it's and, so nice to see you guys. Yeah, yes, yes. Yes. me yes. on. So, so she, so she has a great history in the in the in the industry. She, um, she was a designer for many many years and uh, left that left left that industry and has been a, a very successful consultant. And I'd love Dee Dee to tell more about herself. Well, hello. Um, so I'm Dee Dee, and I'm actually English, but I live in France, and I have mm -hmm. done for 20 years now, about. Um, and I came here to start a job with Quicksilver Europe. So before Quicksilver were global, because now it's all one company, it was uh, mm -hmm. three different sites, Australia, the US, and Europe. And they all had different design teams, but now it's all one. So when I started, before it went global, um, it was just Europe. So it was called Quicksilver Europe. And yeah, and I was head of design. By the time I finished, I was head of design for them. And it just got to a point where I really wanted to work for myself. And I thought I'd done pretty much everything I could do within a company. And yeah, so I left, started a small brand of my own, um, which I still have on the side. It's like more of a passion project than a fully focused like, brand. Yeah. And I work with small brands now and startups, um, helping them to scale, helping them to build their collections through design and development, and just like almost being their like sort of support system through mm -hmm. this whole <laughs> this whole journey. It's so yeah, fantastic. I, people are getting such amazing. I mean, the fact that you've already done this for a global company um, and that they're getting you as their consultant, Didi, is huge. I mean. Oh, thank you. I like to, yeah. I just think it's so nice to be able to help people who maybe didn't, you know, go through the traditional sort of go to fashion school, get a degree, right, 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 get a right. job, you know, because you have the qualification. Yeah, yeah. And now people like I've worked with accountants. I've worked with, you know, sports people, like sports with my background. But just people mm -hmm. from so many different industries that really have this passion. Yeah. I think, why not, you know? Of course. Yeah. And it's normal they don't know how it all works, you know? Right. So yeah. really glad that I can use those years 
yeah. of industry knowledge, you know, to help people who maybe yeah haven't walked the same path. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Well, you're and so right. You said something to super... have your own brand, you know, with yeah. uh, the right consultants and the right connections, you know. Yeah. yeah. You said something really important. They don't know what they don't know, so it it's yeah. so important to to have that insight. It's, there's so much value to that. You know, yeah. figuring figuring out all the little nuances and what to ask, That's right? That's it. I spoke to someone, just one of my clients, um, yesterday, and she was like, oh, it's just so good to talk because it's so lonely, and I just don't know. She was feeling very overwhelmed. You know, I'm not saying anything she would, you know, not like me to say. She was just like, and just, we just spoke it out, you know. She was like, oh, I feel yeah. so much better. And just, like, little things that she thought that, for me, would just be obvious just aren't right. obvious for people because yes. there are, as you say, Tessa, there's so many... So many cogs, you know, in the wheel to yes. get everything. Yeah. That people yeah. just don't even think about, you know, they think it's sketch out a design, get it made. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? but from there to there, there are so many little, little steps. But yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. And, it's, and it's a lot faster to get through those steps if you have somebody guiding you, you know, you're not, you're yeah. not struggling sure. searching. Yeah, for sure. I mean, obviously it's possible and there are a lot of people who do it themselves. But as you mm -hmm. say, it just goes so much faster. And I just think sometimes, especially from this call that we had yesterday, it's so nice to have somebody there who's got your back. Yes. And mm -hmm. that you're not figuring, you know, not everybody can work with someone, you know, and that's fine. Or some people just want to find it all out themselves and have, mm -hmm. yeah, that time to and want to go through the whole process. But I think for a lot of people, it can be quite a lonely journey. Yeah. So yeah. it's nice that they just have someone to bounce ideas off, you know. Um, yeah, and just like go through it with them and talk it all through. And I know at the end of the call, she was feeling so much better yesterday, you know. And um, yeah. yeah, she sent me a mail afterwards saying, "Oh, that's helped so much." Just knowing that there's somebody that I can just like call up. Yes. And uh, you know, right. chat right. about. Yeah. You know, what, you know what? Like popped into my mind when you said that. Almost like when you're going on a trip and you just put in the GPS, like, and it tells you where to turn left, where to turn right. That's, <laughs> that's what it. Doing. Yeah, that's what that's, you're doing. That's exactly yeah. it. That's it. They right. still have, you know, the space for their creativity and to, you know, do what do what they want within their brand. But it's just somebody gently guiding along the bits that are maybe, you know, not so obvious and getting them, as you said, like a GPS getting them back on track, you know, when yeah. things go wrong yeah. or they're confronted with, I don't know, a sample that's not how they want it, but they don't know why. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. I, you know, I, I had a client who was just like, the sleeve is all wrong. I don't know what. And mm -hmm. we were on oh. Zoom and she just showed me. I said, oh, it's the, your sleeve head is like, you know, it needs to be more curved. It needs to be the, And she just right. didn't know right. that. Right. And she was just like, oh, that's so much better, you know, and she just went back to her factory and, yeah. and talked what to do so so true so true and, and you know we don't even think about this you know about giving color comments I and mean, there's a certain way to give them that makes that makes yes. the next one come back so much so much closer to what you're looking for yeah. right absolutely, absolutely. Mm -hmm. just little comments like that little ways of saying things yeah. and speaking yeah. the language speaking you the know? language definitely yeah. Yeah. I just actually yeah. teach all the designers at, at my last company how to give comments for for color and they would ask me to do it annually that the, the head of the company would because it was so important and it saved so much time and they all really learned a lot from it so it was just yeah. little things even people who are have been in the industry a long time there's just little things that everybody can improve on yeah. for sure for sure and i think as well that sometimes you're a designer or you're in production or yeah. And sometimes I work with designers as well who've never gone through the whole production process. Yeah. So even they don't know, as you say, Atasa, that there's a way of speaking and like saying mm -hmm. how to get the color correct and things. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think there's room for everybody, even you know me, to learn. I'm learning all the time from suppliers oh, yeah. as well. Oh yeah, so all the techniques and everything that's going on. So it's a whole like learning process all the time, which is what's so so nice about it. Yeah, and so keeps exciting. Us yeah, it keeps us yeah. interested, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It really yeah. is great. Yeah. Um, so let me see. We wanted to we want to mention while we're on this call that um, Didi provides a couple of different levels of um, help to designers. Mm -hmm. Of course, you know she's a consultant to designers. Um, but Didi, you you tell them tell them about your book. 
that you created? Okay. Oh, yeah. So I wrote um, a white book as well. This came about during the pandemic when I had a bit of time. It is something that was been had been on my mind for a while. And it's, as we say, you know, you can Google the information, but if you don't know what you're looking for, it can be really mm -hmm. difficult. Yeah. Or you can maybe know, but there's lots of bits of information in all different places. And to get all that together is quite difficult. So I thought, what about writing a workbook that can mm -hmm. bring all that information together for beginners? So it's um, right. Right. really aimed at beginners. So it's a step-by-step -step process from yeah. the design right through to production. Yeah. So it talks about design, range building, um, fabrics, where to source them, what kind of... It's not a lexic for every single fabric that exists, but it's just, you know, a general... If you want to, if you want to dress that drape, you're not going to use a thick cotton. If you want, you know, just think about right. your fabrics, um, tech packs. It goes into detail a lot about tech packs, what to expect, what to have in them. Yeah. So I really, I really put a quite an emphasis on tech packs. Yeah. Because I yeah. think that's really, if you have a good tech pack, you're halfway there. Yeah. You're hundred percent right. right. Yeah. Actually, we just spoke to a factory. We were at a factory yesterday and he said to us, the more accurate your tech pack is, the less you yeah. charge. Like it, it oh, saves you yeah. money because it's less work that they have to do. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, right. that's totally that understandable because, I mean, yeah. again, I've worked with people who haven't got tech packs and I'm like, you know, before you do anything, before even approaching yeah. um, a factory, yeah. get your tech pack done because they will take you more yeah. seriously as well. Oh, yeah. Yes. So, so I, there's a big chapter on uh, tech packs and um, pattern cutting. So it just goes through every step, you know, fitting, yeah. samples, what to yeah. expect in your samples, what samples you need, right through to bulk production. But in easy awesome. terms, nothing too, you know, involved so yeah. that it really yeah. it's not going to be overwhelming for somebody to get this book and be like, oh, my God, you know, there's right. just so much. So I've tried to keep it simple. There's questions in their brainstorming pages. Mm -hmm. There's a collection so you can plan your collection within the workbook so it's like a mini course as well yeah so so yeah i i made that for people who can't work or you know don't want to work with um a yeah. consultant or don't have the budget for it or yeah or for people just curious as well yeah yeah that, um, that is phenomenal i just want to make sure people know so you can get this book if you're a very beginner and you're just thinking yes. about getting started mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. yeah yeah, yeah if you're yeah. getting started, even if you're not sure, you can get this book and it, you know, goes through all the steps and it'll give you a better idea of what to expect and if you really want to go ahead with the process as well yeah, with the exactly. project. Yeah. So you can and connect if, with Didi. It's uh, her, her account on Fashion Index is THOC. Is it THOC yes. Design, right? Uh, design Consultancy. Let design me have it. Yeah. Right yeah. Yeah. I was on your... I was on your amazing platform Katie, earlier. Um, and, and get the book. Get the book. Yeah. It's a and oh, at the moment, so it's, I don't know what it would be in dollars, but it's 30 euros, but it's on Amazon Kindle at the moment for 10 euros. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. So, so if you, you want to learn Kindle, more about Dee Dee, check out fashionindex.com. And yes. you can find her. You can find her. You can you can contact her. She can she can lead you to how to how to get her book and how to get all of that stuff. And it would be great. Yeah, it's all on that. Anyone who is a beginner or anyone who who maybe is a little bit farther along but just wants a guide. Yeah. 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 Another Absolutely. Thing, another thing we wanted to mention that Dee Dee has amazing uh, connections with factories that are in. Where were we talking about? Um, what are you talking about? Mochigan. <laughs> right. Didi, yeah. talk about that. Tell everyone about that. Well, I work with factories all over Europe and other places, obviously, you know, Asia, North Africa. But um, I really like working with Portugal. So a lot of people want to work with, I don't know, France, with the UK or local to them, which is totally understandable. Mm -hmm. But you're such a small and sort of tight knit, you know, continent. Yeah. Yeah. I always try and say to people who maybe haven't thought about it or don't have the budget to be really local to them. Mm -hmm. to try Portugal because they are just so amazing at what they do. They have a craftsmanship and a know-how that's, you know, for years and years, they've been known in the textile industry as the artisans and they're just, they're great people. Okay. It's a great country. And yeah, I really like working with them. I, they know the business. They have quite small quantities, a lot of the factories mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. So that's yeah. a real, you know, plus point for small brands. 
yeah. and they get it very quickly yeah. and it's very close and yeah and with the euro you know right. it makes it all easier you know yes, uh, the, yes, they're, they're, part, as well. they're part of the eu and they have the in order to join they had to put in millions and millions of dollars worth of infrastructure for roads etc yeah it's yes. super easy to get product around a wonderful road system um, yeah you're right cool. the people are very 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 good they're, yeah um, they they have they ha what they say they do and not all co countries that's the what people um, execute. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. The, if they say they're going to do it, they do it, and that, they exactly are really it. good at small quantities and turning things yeah. turning things incredibly fast. Yes, that's it. It's almost you know, it, I don't almost don't consider it offshore. Yeah. Because it's so close and it's so within you know it's so easy to get to as well yeah, especially yeah, yeah. if it was based in europe or in the uk or you know anywhere around or in france yeah, so yeah. easy to get to portugal and as you say the infrastructure and the roads and everything the system is so well done that yeah and it's such a lovely place to visit the north most of the factories are based in the north around porto and braga mm -hmm. yeah that's right just over yeah the border from spain it's very very easy and yeah. yeah, and they they just bring so much to the table. I think you know both yeah. price wise in the construction and the quality of what they do. They turn it around quickly, as you say. You know, so mm -hmm. yeah, they're yeah. a country I really really enjoy working with. So and they fun. have really good mills there. Very very good quality mills. Yeah, very good quality mills. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really good. Honestly, across the board, both for jersey and wovens. Mm -hmm covered you know yeah. i think they're, they're very competitive it, across the board i love yeah. it yeah. yeah and, and i've and, definitely done lots of production production this, the fact that they do small batch production that's yeah. what i love because you know yeah. we try to speak to like low and no inventory and i think that that's definitely a, a win for sure yeah definitely yeah, and, and I even think if you're not from europe i mean i've done lots of manufacturing in portugal and brought it all across the world and um yeah of course there's, a, there's a bit more logistical challenges now but it's still very feasible and they're yeah. uh, like you know they're very flexible so they, yeah they're don't very count flexible. Them out, no matter where you're based um, that's it. and they work with some of the biggest names you know i worked with them a factory that we're also producing for Hugo Boss, um, for mm -hmm. Armani, you know, so they, and that's what's nice. They can have some really, really big designer names, but they will also work with smaller brands. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, so that's really, really nice. So you know that they have that quality as well because they do work with some, you know, really well-known yeah. brands. Exactly. Yeah, I know a lot of factories that I was there, they actually have a, like a, a cell, they work in cells and that's why they can work with big brands and small brands. They just, yes. Each one does, it's like a mini, it's a mini factory within the factory. And then within they just the, yeah. link them together and that becomes large volumes or small volumes so they can handle yeah. a lot of different things. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, it's really, yeah, it is really, really great. They've got a, everything covered and I think it's been, they've been building it up for so long that it just works like hot work. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. fantastic. Yeah, I, mean, really. I think it's also interesting to know um, the difference in like the cost to produce in each of those countries. And I say that because um, like Didi, you're more familiar, Tears is definitely more familiar, you guys, um, with how expensive it can be to produce mm -hmm. locally. And especially like you said, in France versus yes. the cost to produce in Portugal. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I would say it's like three times, at least three times higher. Like when I, let's say I was sampling dresses out of Portugal and we'd be at like, I was saying dollars about th for a sample, about $30 okay. per mm -hmm. sample. And the equivalent in France would be 150 Yeah. I yeah. would say Probably. per sample. So there is a very big difference. Yeah. Yeah, a very big difference though and, it and the work, let's just talk about workmanship there i mean the workmanship is is amazing. almost equivalent yeah mm -hmm. oh absolutely yeah. they are definitely the unsung heroes yeah. they're like this little yeah. secret you know that and sometimes i've said to um clients as well how about portugal and they're like oh you know i don't know what and so people don't know how great they are and yeah. then when they then they're just like really really happy yeah right Right. Well, yeah. I mean, you, know, you think of Paris, and we were, and we were talking the other day about it. 
and they have such a, a history and couture and such great, sure. great fine workmanship. People sure. don't know that Portugal also has a significant history and great Definitely. workmanship, lots of skill, yeah. lots of pride in their work. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. It's it's just that it's just that yeah, as you say, Paris has the prestige and this mm -hmm. history that people know about, you know, yeah. and made in France, especially within Europe. I'm not sure about the States, mm -hmm. but made in France is sure. very, you know, highly looked upon. Yeah. Um, yeah. Made in Britain as well for British based people, you know, or mm -hmm. Europeans, very highly looked upon. And in Italy as well, you know, they're like the three main countries. But I think unless you have an extremely large budget, yeah. it's very difficult, you know, to work with those countries and or, it all you relates know. back to your customer because they're the it's going to go into the cost of the garment so it's kind of That's like it. what's the price point of your product that you're selling exactly you know I mean? exactly but, what are you yeah. positioning yourself as if you're mm -hmm. if you have you know, your sampling is so high and your cost of production is so high so yeah, yeah it's one of my favorite countries to go to for both wovens and yeah knitwear i would say that's great. I like I like just visiting too. I think it's kind of <laughs> and the food is so good. <laughs> so good. So, such a good like, nightlife and, and yeah, just, it really is. Culture. It's really a really yeah, fantastic culture. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. Well, that's fantastic. Um, I think I feel like we touched on everything that we wanted to talk about today. Yeah. So I just want to recap for everybody um, who's coming on. Um, we're here with um, Didi from the House of Chickadee. Um, it's T H O C Design Consultant. Consultant C. Yeah. And um, and and check out fashionindex.com um, to find any resource that you need, whether it be people like pattern makers, sample makers, um, anything you might need in your process of your design uh, to fabric suppliers, trim suppliers, factories, uh, every kind of print facility, everything um, on Fashion Index, uh, including warehousing and everything. It's, just, so, it's so great what you're doing and I'm so happy to have found your platform. <laughs> Because yeah, when I when I found your platform, I was like, oh my goodness, this is so amazing because it's so rare to find a platform like yours where everything is there and it just seems so inclusive and so easy for brands, which is something we were talking about as well. Yeah. How you know, there's so there seems to be so many secrets and closed doors for people. And then you get to your website and it's like, oh <laughs> this is what oh, this good, is what good. I really, even for people like me, you know, to be able to to have have an account on there, it's just so yeah, it's really, really nice. Yeah, oh, and, great. We love hearing that. And we're so we happy. do, and we want to make it easy oh, for people because it shouldn't have to be as hard as it no. is. Do you know what I mean? That's it. That's it. <laughs> it shouldn't have to be this hard. No, because it is off-putting for people, I think, when, you know, it can be when people have a great idea, but they just, like, it's like a stumbling block, isn't it? When you have resources like your your platform, it just makes it so much easier. Yeah. So but that's, and that's the thing. We want to help people find the resources super easily. We want them to, we want to, you know, put a face to a name, let them connect with you, Didi, so that they know who you are, who they're working Great. with. Great. You know? Yeah. Well, I'm happy to, yeah, chat with anybody. If anybody mm -hmm. has questions, because you have that question that you showed me yesterday, the incubator. Yes. 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 It's like, oh, this is amazing where people can ask questions and we can answer them. People, exactly. Yes. And you're yes. getting good industry advice instead of just random somebody who heard yeah. something. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Um, so, guys, we want to we want to definitely, um, uh, you know, ask you to check out fashionindex.com. Please, please check out Dee Dee's um, profile on fashionindex.com and connect with her. It's um, D, uh, Dee Dee at... T H O C, the House of Chickadee, yes. um, T H O C Design Consultants. Dee yes. wrote a book that you can read. <laughs> I read a book. <laughs> no, but it's a, it, 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 for for newbies coming in and not knowing a lot. If you just want to find a little like real good information, um, connect with Didi and and buy the book from her. It's thirty euros. Um, just get your feet wet and and find out what yeah. you can learn. Didi has, mm -hmm. I think, what is it, ten or fifteen years experience, right, at Quicksilver? Fifteen. Yes, yeah, like fifteen years. Yeah. yeah. You're, getting, like, you're getting a true like seasoned fashion vet yeah. helping you build your line. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I. Like, yeah. It's fantastic. You I like to say everything so I know. So. <laughs> just getting the right advice and getting the right direction. Yeah. That's yeah. the most important thing that people can. But yeah, as you say, it's 
in the long term cost efficient because you're saving time, you're saving energy, you're saving money. Because mm-hmm. yeah, you can go around in circles and keep on, you know, making yeah. the same. Yeah. So. It, honestly, and and I think that it makes sense. Um, also, like if you're really going to try to be in business, you mm-hmm. have to you have to be talking the talk. You have to yeah. know. I- like, how to approach factories, how to uh, speak yeah, with mm-hmm. fabric vendors, mm-hmm. how to negotiate. And it's better to Absolutely. have someone in your pocket giving you the right direction um, and mm-hmm. how to, you know, approach each of these areas. Yeah. I you mean, know? because we, we all know factories are very, very busy. They have a lot of work on. They don't have the ta- time to be hand-holding. And right. I've known clients who've been passed over because it just hasn't been clear enough for, sure. yeah. for the factories. Yes. You know? yep. So, yep, you're yeah. right, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to, you have to, you have to have everything ready, ready for yeah. them to take it seriously and for them to give you what exactly what what's in your head. You have to know how to That's put that into a way that they're that they're expecting. So yeah, exactly for sure, yeah. for sure. Yeah. It, yeah, yeah. Well, Gigi, it's been so nice talking to you today. Thank you. I for love taking speaking the time to join us. It's a pleasure. <laughs> Thank you so much. I have loved meeting you, Gigi. I really me have. too. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. I'm yeah. so happy we connected. Love it. <laughs> So yeah, and we'll definitely be referring you as well to like more people. Thank you. Honestly, we Thank love you. it. Um, keep exactly doing what you're doing. Saying, keep that being smile. Clear is the key. <laughs> O'Neill, you're a hundred percent right. You're a thousand percent right. You have to be clear on on what you want, what you want you for your brand, and yeah. then, and 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 someone like a, a fashion consultant like Didi will help you bring it together. You know, um, mm-hmm. it can help you stay on track. You know what I mean? Like that. Oh yeah, good. yeah. I track the whip a little bit. I mean, I admit. You, know? you have to. We, we, you we have all know to. you have to have a schedule in this business. You have to have a schedule. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Oh. oh, so definitely, Didi. It's been so so nice. Please Thank you for having me. Didi. Connect with Didi, you guys, on fashionindex.com. T H O C, um, fashion consultants. Check her out, please. All right. It was so good to see you all. Eurosan, O'Neill, everybody who's on, on the call. Thank you so much. Love you guys. You know it. I don't have to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Have a Let's wonderful day. Man. Have a great day. Yeah, thank you very much. Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye.